Hello, witches. Welcome to the broadcast. I'm High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. The real High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. I say real because it's the real High Priestess Autumn Phoenix talking to you, witches, right now on this very intense live broadcast. I am the real High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. And the reason why I stress this so much is because there are lots of accounts impersonating real high priestesses, real um, high priests, other witches, and that has to stop. I know some of you have been scammed out of hundreds and thousands of dollars out of my own good name and out of the good names of other you know, witches, high priests, high priestesses, and that has to stop. First and foremost, you should definitely call the police if you give people money to do services for you and you never hear from them again. They don't, you know, keep you updated. They won't video chat with you. Right here on Instagram, it's so easy to go into somebody's messages and video chat with them so you can see them face to face. If somebody refuses to video chat with you, after you have requested it, they are a fraud because everybody has a phone, everybody has a camera. Those excuses of, oh, I can't video chat with you right now. Oh, my camera is not working right now. Oh, I don't feel comfortable video chatting with strangers. These are all lies. They're lies. And they say, oh, I have a message from the ancestors, the ancestors sent me. I my energy is up now. They call you love. Me personally, I do not call people love. I'm a nice person, but I am not that nice. I do not call people love. What do I look like calling somebody love? For those of you who have been following me for years now. You know my personality. You know I do not refer to people like that. Oh, hey, love. Hey, my energy is up today. Do you want a reading? I don't talk like that. That's not me. I'm not fake and phony. What you see with me, even right now here live on Instagram, is what you get. When it comes to me, what you see is what you get. I'm not fake and phony. I hate fake and phony people. Let me just say that out front too. I hate fake and phony people. If you are fake and phony, do not come around me. And that also has to do with me being a Scorpio. Scorpios don't like fake and phony people. All right? So going back to these fraudulent witch accounts and exposing them. Most of these people who come impersonating real high priestesses, Real witches, real high priests are people from poor parts of the country. And then when you actually do get into a confrontation with them, when you actually do expose them for being who they are not, they say, oh, I'm trying to feed my family by scamming in another witch's good name. I don't care about your family. I don't care about you not being able to feed your family. That's not my problem, that you can't feed your family. So... Because you can't feed your family, you pretend to be somebody else to get money in that good person's name. Does that make sense to you? Oh, yeah, it makes sense to me because I will never get caught. The FBI don't usually go after these people from, say, Africa. Let's keep it real. We know a lot of these scams come from Africa. You may have gotten an email saying, oh, I'm a prince and I have money set aside for you, but you need to send me money for me to give you the money. That's a scam. And most people, especially elderly people, tend to fall for that. And these are the same people who are pretending to be witches to scam you out of money. They ask you for money, you give them the money, and they never follow up with the reading or the spell, ritual, hex, or curse that they were supposedly be doing for you. Because you just got scammed. And they have the smarts, they're smart enough to block the real witches that they are impersonating. You see, there are so many people impersonating me, they're smart enough to block me so I can't see it. 
and think that my real which is my real people won't you know give me this information telling me that there are people impersonating me asking me asking them for readings in my good name and they say oh i lost 250 dollars i lost 500 dollars in your good name that's why i say ask for this person to video chat with you i have no problem video chatting with nobody because you see me now you, you're looking at me right now live. Live. This is a slide. You can't fake a live. This is live. I have no problem showing my face. I have no problem with that. But the scammers will give you every single excuse in the book. I don't have a camera. I don't feel comfortable. I can't do it right now. If they give you these excuses, it's because they are not me or any other witch they are impersonating. Not just me. <laughs> I'm not just speaking for myself. And like I said, when you confront them, when they get, you know, addressed by the police, when they get addressed by the FBI, they have this sob story. They have this piss and vinegar story of, oh, I was just scamming to feed my family. Nobody cares about your family. Your family means nothing. They prey on people who are desperate for magical help. They don't care about doing a spell, ritual, hex, or curse for you. They don't care. Why would they? Because they're still getting your money at the end of the day. Don't believe that sob story. They probably don't even have a family. They don't have no family. They're just some bum in their mother's basement impersonating real witches like myself to make a quick buck. Oh, they said, oh, okay, I don't have a family, but the economy is bad. I need some money coming in. So instead of getting off your ass and capitalizing on the badness of the economy, you go out and scam people in the good names of witches, high priests, and high priestesses like myself. Does that make sense to you, impersonators out there? Because I know some of you are going to be watching this. But like I just said, you can't fake a live broadcast. You see me. You see how good my lightning is right now? You see me. You know it's me. I'm High Priestess Awesome Phoenix. That's my magical name. High Priestess Awesome Phoenix. It's me. Anybody impersonating me is not me. They're just a scammer. So why... You know, this is why they do this. Because they're trying to feed their families. Fuck your family. Oh, yes, I just said that. Fuck your family. I don't care about your family. Fuck your economy crisis. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Oh, some what you say, don't worry about it. Why shouldn't they scam your good name? Everybody's struggling. It's not hurting you. It is hurting me. It is hurting other witches and high priestesses and high priests. It is hurting them. Because then these people who have gotten scammed reach out to the real witch, like myself, and say, Oh, I just paid this person who was impersonating you, and now I'm out of $100. What do you really expect me to do about that, though? You have to take accountability. You also, you also have to be smart. Being smart is asking that person to video chat with you. I don't care if I'm in a shower. I will get myself dried, get myself together, and we will video chat. And I will prove to you that I am who I am. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. If you want proof that I am I, high prices, that's not a problem for me. But it's a problem for people pretending to be me, pretending to be other witches with high accounts, you know, high followers, lots of posts, lots of engagement. So they steal your posts, but they won't steal your videos, though, because they're not you. They won't steal your videos, though. They can't copy a live and then replay the live. You can't copy a live. You can't replay a live as a live. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And these people who are scamming don't realize that they are also scamming against the queen 
of which is Hikate. Hikate will deal with these people, these ingrates, accordingly and rightfully so. These ingrates come up as a funk to the nostrils, to the queen of witches, and she will deal with them accordingly. And it's not going to be nice. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be soft. It's not going to be nice. There will be no compromise. Nothing but pain will come to these people. And I'm for it. I'm for, for, I'm for pain and justice to protect my good name and to protect the names of other witches, high priestesses and high priests that this is happening to because this has to stop this has to stop i don't care about your sob story tell it to someone who gives a shit let me see if i can post this like this one right here this is another person impersonating me i got a message about this person a couple hours ago this is not me this person right here this is not me this is me right here what you're seeing right now this face this pretty face this is me this person right here is not me this person right here is a fraudulent witch account scamming you out of your money in my good name this is not me they wish they were me but they are not you see i don't call people it says hey love how are you sending love and light to you i don't talk like that i'm not that friendly I'm not that open to people like that. I don't talk to people like that. Even if I'm close to you, I don't talk to people like that. Hey, love. I don't talk to people like that. I don't say the ancestors sent me. Who ancestors sent you? Why would my ancestors be talking to you, a total stranger, and not talking to me? I don't understand that. Listen, let me tell you something about your ancestors. Your ancestors would not be talking to you about someone who is a complete stranger. They would not. If your ancestors want to talk to you, they will talk to you. They will not talk to somebody who is not you. They wouldn't. They would not. They will not. This is a fraudulent account right here that you're seeing. This is a fraudulent account. This is not me. This is me. This is me right here. Live. Live, which is live. I don't call people love. I never use this type of language. Even with my closest people, I never say, hey, love. I don't say that. That sounds fake and phony. And I'm not fake and phony. So you see, these people don't actually care about helping you magically through problems. They only care about your wallets. They only care about emptying out your pockets. They don't care about the witch they're impersonating as long as they're getting your money, as long as they're scamming you. And like I said, these people come from poor countries or they claim to come from poor countries. Because yes, rich people, millionaires, billionaires go on here too and impersonate witches with um, very high accounts, witches who have a lot of followers, witches who have a lot of engagement because they figure they can ride the coattails of my coattails and the other coattails of other witches and high priests and high priestesses and make some money off of it. And of course, you can always go to your bank and file a complaint. Yes, the FBI are now going after these people in these so-called poor countries and bringing them to justice. They are. They, they can't catch all of them, but they're catching more of them now. And I'm really trying, I'm really pushing to get verified on social media so people know that it's me and everybody else is a fraud. And when you confront them also, when you say, you are not high priestess or sophenus, they get nasty with you. They say, do you want a reading or not? I don't have time for this. I don't have time to go back and forth with you. Do you want a reading or not? That's when I say, well, fuck you, bitch. Just like that. Don't give me attitude how you, you message me. 
that's just my see that's my personality you didn't hear me say hey love and any of that conversation right there i don't call people up i that sounds so fake to me hey love my energy is up today sending you love and light can i offer you a reading what makes you why would you assume that i need a reading why would you assume somebody needs a reading? You see, with me, I don't message anybody. People come to me. They come to me for my help. I don't reach out to anybody. I don't. I damn sure don't call them love. And I'm not going to send love and light to somebody who I probably don't even like anyway. Somebody who I don't know. I do it for witches, real witches, but I'm not going to do it for somebody I don't know intimately. That I don't know personally because I'm not fake and phony. These fraudulent witch accounts need to be brought down. Hikate is going to put her foot on the necks and crush the throats of these impersonators. Did you catch what I just said? Hikate is going to put her foot on the necks of these witch impersonators and crush their throats killing them as she should oh that sounds so violent he it is violent towards people who attack witches did you not know that did you not know every time you do a curse or has to hurt somebody it's always more sometimes than what you intended it's always going to be more when it's justified always and if they die who so they so they're dead so what your life means nothing because you're scamming other people's good name laughing in your basement you know counting your little money counting your little 50 dollars for a reading you got i don't charge that little amount of money i don't my price is a little bit higher than that okay it's over a hundred. At least I'm being honest. My readings, my spell work is over one hundred dollars, as it should be, because I'm a pro and I'm a high priestess. So when these scammers come to you and they're impersonating me or impersonate another big account that you follow, you should instantly ask them. You must instantly ask them, hey, why don't we video chat? Why don't you prove to me that you are High Priestess or the Phoenix? And they may not even answer you when you press that button to um, video chat in the messaging part of Instagram. They may not even answer or they may just block you. Or they may answer, but they may cover it with a piece of paper. Or they may cover it with their hand like this so that you can't see them. No, let me see your face. Go into a room with great light, like how I am right now, and show me your face. Show me that you are High Priestess or St. Venus. And if you can't do that, we have nothing else to talk about. This conversation is dead. It's dead. Do not contact me again. Because like I said, even if I'm in the shower, I will get out, dry my body off, and we will video chat to prove that I am High Priestess or Sir Phoenix. Because I have no problem doing that. Because I am who I say I am. Everybody else is an impersonator. And like I said, I'm really trying to get verified, not just on Instagram, but on my other social media platform, so this problem can maybe not go away entirely, but it won't be so you know, out there problem won't be that big because I would have that what blue check or whatever it's called next to my name so pe people will know that I am who I say I am. You know, so don't get yes, you absolutely should pay for magical working because it's called the energy exchange. If you're serious about the spell work, you will pay the witch for their time and their energy. And their supplies that they're using to do the spell work for you. Absolutely, you should pay. Absolutely. No, witches are not obligated to do witchcraft for somebody just out of the goodness of their heart. No. Witches have lives too. Real witches have lives. Scammers, 
just have scamming on their mind. They don't have no interest in actually helping you live a life with real significant and permanently positive change, which is the only definition of witchcraft. That's the only definition of witchcraft. Don't believe their soft story when they get confronted by you. Don't, do not feel sorry for them because they can't feed their families. It is not your fault that they cannot feed their families. Do not feel bad for them. That's not your family. That's why you should not feel bad for them. Yeah, you should have a good heart, but use your brain. Use your brain. Use your brain. Think long and hard. Okay, they have problems with their family. I don't give a fuck. Just like that. I'm okay. The fuck you with me, though? You know, these are sob stories to melt your heart, you know, make you feel bad for them, make you feel pity for them. No. You have to learn to say, fuck you. You have to learn to say, fuck you. It sounds harsh, but it's the truth. You can't help everybody you have to have your heart a little bit hardened because they're probably lying when they say i had to feed my family that's why i scammed in this witch's name no you just wanted money it's called critical thinking you have to think and the best way to defend, your, to defend yourself is simply asking them to video chat with you and watch them ignore it, say no, or, you know, try to, what, get some, what, what they're going to do, get plastic surgery to look like me? Will they go that far? Yeah, there's some freakish people out there who do some shit like that. You know, there are people out there who go get surgeries to look like celebrities and then they end up looking like a blow up job. A, not, mm, not blow job. They look like, look, they end up looking like a blow up doll. Not blow job. Not blow job. They end up looking like a blow up doll. Not blow job. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but they do, yeah, I guess they do end up looking like a dick. If I want to say blowjob, why not? So, you know, these people, they don't care about helping you magically. They don't. They only care about your money. They only care about your money. They don't care about their families. Because if they actually had a family, their family would be telling them maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe if we do this, the FBI who is now tracking these people who scam in other people's good name will come after us and we are going to have several years in prison. Not jail, prison. As they should be. But the best justice will come from the queen of witches, Hikate. She will deliver the ultimate punishment by putting her foot on the necks of these impersonators, like I just said, and crushing their throats, crushing their windpipes, as she should, right? Of course she should. Of course she should. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, witches. Hikase really looks after her own. These people are not witches. They can't tell you how to do a spell. They can't tell you how to make a spell work. They can't tell you what color what color you should use they can't tell you what crystal you should use they can't name any one moon phase 
They can't name any of our seven. They don't know how to use essential oils. They don't know how to use blood and witchcraft. They don't know how to do sex magic. They don't know how to do a money spell so they can get their ass out of poverty and not scam and other witches' good name. They can't do a health spell. They can't do a curse or a hex. They can't do a defensive spell. But yet, they're smart enough to block the real witches to impersonate them and think that their people, the real witches people, are not going to be told about other fake scammers impersonating them. Don't do things like this because I have ways of finding out. I have ways of finding out. Remember, witches, I am also a Scorpio. Scorpios are natural detectives. We always know Scorpios are the most intuitive of the zodiac sign. So I always know. I might not say anything, but I know. I know. You can't hide shit from me. You cannot hide shit from me. I already know what's up. I already know what game you're trying to run on me. You can't play me. You can play someone who's stupid, but I've never been stupid in my life. <laughs> I have never been stupid in my life. So play somebody who's stupid, who don't know any better, who don't know what's hip, that don't know what's up. I know what's up. I know what's up. This has got to stop. It has to stop. If you are a witch impersonator, impersonating accounts with big followings or lots of followers or lots of great content like mine, you are going to be getting dealt with by the queen of witches. And you don't want that. You don't want that, um, that fire underneath your booty. You don't want that fire going into your booty hole. Everybody has a booty hole. He constantly is going to put a fire up your booty hole if you continue to impersonate real witches. So your booty hole, your booty hole is going to be set alight as it should be. I have no mercy for you. I have no compassion for you. I don't care about you not being able to feed your family. That's not my problem. That's your problem. I don't care how bad the economy is in Africa or Turkey or Saudi Arabia, you know, where all these scam artists come from. I don't care about it. That's not my problem. Get your country together then. Africa is a continent. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It's not the witch's problem that you are impersonating to get money in their good name. Some of you impersonators just get a fucking job. Oh, it's too, too hard to do that. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. At all. Get the fuck up and do the work. That's it. It's not that difficult. It's, it's, it's not. It can't be. It's not at all. These scam artists know what they're doing. They're good at it. Because they have the brains to block the real witch, high priestess, or high priest. So that I can't supposedly see it, but they don't realize that my people in the background are going to clue me in on what they are doing. You can't hide anything from me. Because I've never been stupid. You're stupid to think that you're not going to get caught. You're stupid thinking that you're not going to get exposed today. And there's so many out there that I probably don't even know about, but I know is going to watch this video because I am going to upload it to all my social media platforms. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'm going to promote it. That means I'm going to put money on it. Put money on it so I can promote it. So it can be in the forefront. So everybody can um, watch it. Because this has got to stop. This doesn't make any sense to me. 
It doesn't make any sense to the witches, high priestesses, and high priests that you are impersonating and thinking you're going to get away with it. You're not getting away with shit. You're not. You're not. And you might scoff. You might mock high... Well, she is a high priestess, Hikate, but she's not laughing. This is not a joke to her. Hikate is not laughing and giggling and carrying on, thinking that it's funny that these real witches like myself, these real high priestesses like myself, is getting scammed. It's not funny. What's funny, bitch? What's really funny, you stupid bitch? Yeah, I have every right to be angry. I have every right to be talking like this because it keeps going on. Of course, I am justified in my anger. I am justified in my feelings. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not a fake or phony person. And I say what I mean. I mean what I say. And I make no apologies for it. I don't say something if I don't mean it. And I don't call people love. I don't, I don't say, hey, love. That's not me. I don't talk like that. I'm nice, but I'm not that nice. I don't call people sugar. Or, hey, baby. I don't talk like that. Mm -mm. I don't call people sweetheart. I don't talk like that. That's not my, that's not my love language. That's not, that's not my language at all. I don't talk like that. Maybe me. I don't like that language. I don't like being called those names. Can you believe that I actually don't like being called sweetheart, a love, or dear, or honey? I don't like being called those things. My name is High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. I'm not your love. I'm not your sweetheart. I'm not your honey. I'm not your buddy. I'm not your friend. I'm not your mother. I'm not your daddy. No, I'm not in those things. You're seeing me here live exposing these fraudulent accounts because that's what they are, a fraud. Scamming you out of money because they have or they have made up a soft story as to why they are scamming people and these witches and high priestesses and high priests. Good name. Like I said, I'm going to be promoting this as well, meaning that I'm going to pay money so that it's always in the forefront. You know, what is it called? Um, running an ad? I think that's what it's called. So that more people can get this raw, intense, and real word. Real word. This unfiltered word. This raw word. This unedited word. And more importantly, this live word because you see me live i have great lights i have great lights so you can see my face clearly see i'm pretty yes and put it out there that these fraudulent accounts are just trying to scam you out of money and you need to be responsible by asking them to video chat with you and your messages, they can video chat with you. This is, this is a part of it that says what, um, video? Oh, it looks like a video camera. I can't show you right now. But you can video chat with them. So when you see accounts like this, like this one right here, this is not me. This is someone pretending to be me. I don't call people love. The problem that I'm having with, you know, why are you talking about being called love so much? I don't like that. Because I don't like people who are fake and phony. That's why I can see through you. So when you see accounts like this, it's not me. I don't talk like that. You see, this person has stolen my profile picture. 
and they have 1.1 thousand followers and they have 102 of my posts but they don't have any videos because then they will have to answer as to why you have so many videos why don't you go live like i'm live right now they won't answer you you can't steal somebody's photos and not have their videos you can't steal somebody's photos and videos and then not go live. You can go live with me. I have no problem going face to face with somebody impersonating me. Because they don't look like me. That's the problem. They don't. They don't. But they're interested. They're interested in your money though. They're interested in your money, though. So that's why I started this broadcast tonight. Exposing fraudulent witch accounts. Because it needs to be put out there. You see, I'm the person on this poster that I created. You see, it's me. It's nobody else but me. That's my book of shadows and my arms. It's a little ruined right now, but it's still mine. That's why... We're here tonight to talk about this issue and to be real and to be sincere and to be authentic and to keep it funky, to keep it, you know, out there, to keep it unedited, to keep it unfiltered. So, yeah, I'm going to curse a lot. Of course, I'm justified in my anger. Because these fraudulent witch accounts are scamming you out of money. They are scamming you out of money in my good name. And in the good names of other witches, high priestesses, and high priests. And that has to stop. And I do apologize if you have been scammed out of your hard earned money. Of course I apologize. Because it sucks to have your money stolen from somebody who you thought was actually communicating with you. And then you meet the real person like myself and then have, you know, a brain fart that who you were actually talking to was not me. But like I said, Hikate will light a fire and these impersonators booty hole and set them alight. Rightfully so. I'm talking directly in the booty hole. The booty hole. Oh, that sounds so gross. How can you talk like that? I'm talking about your booty hole. I am talking about your booty hole. That he can't take but lights a fire underneath and light your ass up. Absolutely. She will do it. I've seen what happens to the proud when they take on a witch. I have seen what happens to the proud when they take on a witch, a real witch. And it's a sight to see. It is a sight to see. It's very entertaining to watch Hikate go to work to protect your good name it's a sight to see because she will always give you a front row seat as she deals with your enemies that's always a great sight to see absolutely she will light a fire and these witches booty hole and light their ass up light that booty up absolutely absolutely and like i said i don't feel sorry for them i have no mercy for them no compassion no empathy no sympathy i don't care about your sob story it's not my problem it's not the problems of other witches and high priestesses and high priests deal with the problem then what the fuck you want from me i can't help your ass i don't give a fuck about you not being able to feed your family so you go out and scam other people's good name? Fuck you. At least I'm honest about it. I'm not one of these witches that send love and light to someone who has wronged me. I don't do that. I don't turn the other cheek. 
That's bullshit. That's why I don't do that. Because you have to speak to people in a language that they can understand. You can't talk to me in French. I speak only English. You have to speak to people in a language that they understand. That's a fact. That's a fact. They want you to have a soft and heart for their plight, for their problem, for their issue, for their hard home life, for their sob story. Oh, I can't feed my family. That's why I was scamming people in your name. Fuck you and fuck your family too, bitch. You can't be the type of witch that always lets shit slide. That's why so many witches don't live a magically filled life because they let people take advantage of them. At some point, witches, you have to develop a backbone. You can't be a spineless jellyfish. Hikatsu does not call you to be like the rest of the world. Hikatsu does not call you to be a Christian that turns the other cheek. No, for what? For what? People are scamming in your name. You cannot be a spineless jellyfish. Oh, I'm not the spineless jellyfish. I don't like confrontation. It's not confrontation if somebody is ruining your reputation and your good name. It's called standing up for yourself. It's called opening your mouth and saying something. It's called talking to people in a language that they can understand because you cannot talk to me in French because I want to know what the hell you're saying. Many of you witches watching this have got to develop a backbone. You have to stand up to people and say, you're not going to take advantage of me. You're not going to take advantage of people who follow genuine witches and high priestesses and high priests just to make a quick buck. You're not going to carry on with this behavior. And I don't care about you not being able to feed your family or the economy is bad in your country. That has nothing to do with you witches. It has nothing to do with you witches. And if you want these impersonators to you impersonators, why don't you give yourself your own reading to find out what the fuck is wrong with you? You need to give yourself a reading to find out what the fuck is wrong with you. Because no real witch, no real high priestess, no real high priest will be giving, you know, sending out messages talking about, can I give you a reading today? My energy is up. The ancestors sent me. My ancestors did not send your raggedy ass. My ancestors did not send your raggedy ass. Who the fuck are you again? Who are you? And you can't name not one of my ancestors that I know well, first of all, I know you're lying because your ancestors wouldn't. Let me tell you something. Your ancestors would never reach out to somebody else besides you. If your ancestors have something to say about you, they will say it to you. They will not speak through somebody else. Never. Your ancestors do not speak through strangers. Ever. Ever. So if you got in court in that scam also of psychics and divination readers who say, oh, your ancestor wants you to do this or do that. You just got scammed. Somebody's lying to you. Your ancestors will talk to you. They will not talk through somebody else. They will not. They will not use another vessel, another human, to speak with you. One way or another, your ancestor is going to figure out how to talk about you 
to you, not through somebody else. Okay? I have to say that because it's true. And I know some people who have gotten scammed out of other so-called witches that say your ancestors want you to bury $2,000 in front of their grave and then that same psychic goes to that graveyard to dig up the money and you just got scammed your ancestors will always find a way to talk about you to you they will not use another vessel so don't play people which impersonators talking about all oh, the ancestors sent me with a message who are you talking about give me a name Give me a, a date of birth. Give me a date of death. Give me the cause of death. Tell me something besides the ancestors sent you. What's up? What, what else you got? If you can't give me a name, if you can't answer questions that only my ancestors that you claim would know, you're a liar and you're a scam artist. You are a witch impersonator. Your ancestors would not talk. Your ancestors would not have a message for you through another witch. Your ancestors will talk about you to you. They do not need a vehicle to go back and forth at all. So don't believe that shit when they say, oh, your ancestors sent me. Oh, my energy is up today. I don't care about your energy being up today. Go do something productive besides scamming people if your energy is up today. If your energy is up today, that means you have the energy to be productive to do something else besides scamming people, but pretending to be a witch and other witches, good name like my name, High Priestess, Awesome Phoenix. So you saying that my energy is up today, do you want a reading is a crock of shit. The crack of shit. I don't care about your energy. It means nothing to me. Do you want to read in? I don't do. And another thing about me, I don't do oracle cards. I do um, the Rider Weight tarot cards. I do those. I don't work with oracle cards. Uh, I think the the reason why I don't work with oracle cards is because the language to me seems too flowery you know it sounds too sweet it's not my language that's like i just said i don't call people love this is not me that language right there hey love how are you sending love and light to you okay bye bye so what if you're sending me love and light? I don't give a damn. You know, they use flowery language. I don't talk like that. That's not me. And I get messages every single day. Is this you? Is this you? No, it's not me. I don't talk like that. Because I'm not fake and phony. And I never message anybody people come to me i don't go to the people if you chase the cat the cat will never come if you have something the cat wants then the cat will come that's also a intuitive word for which here who owns a business you have to have what the people want for them to come to you first that's a word right there, guys, two or three. That's a word right there for a witch who is watching live right now, who owns a business. That's a word right now for you. That's a word right there for you. I don't like these witch impersonations if you haven't already figured that out. Because they're scamming and these big witch accounts. Because they can't be themselves. Oh, maybe they have a hard life. And, you know, it's not, the, it's not harming. And some witches actually say, oh, these scammers are not harming anybody. It's just money. Girl, shut the fuck up.
fuck up. Yeah, I said it. You're ruining somebody's good name. That's harming somebody. Use your brain. That's harming somebody. You're ruining somebody's reputation. You're ruining somebody's good name. That is harm. Are you stupid? If you're stupid, write it down in the comments. Say yes. Keep it real. Keep it real. Like I said, keep it real. Keep it moving. It is harmful. Because these people are giving these scammers hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars for supposed you know, magical help and the help never gets done, but the witch scammer gets paid and goes on their merry way. And you never hear from them again. And then you come to me talking about some, I pay you $2,000. You didn't pay me nothing. You can check my social security card. Call the FBI. I have no problem. You're not going to blame me because you got scammed out of two thousand dollars. That's you being stupid. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm just saying that's you being stupid. Because, like I've been saying throughout this broadcast, you can just ask that person to video chat with you before you make payment, before you pay for any service that somebody messages you about pretending to be me. Ask them to video chat with you. Ask this person right here. Ask this person right here to video chat with you. Ask them. And watch them say, oh, I can't right now. Why can't you? Why can't you? Why? Why can't you? Because you're a lying piece of shit. That's why. Ask them, before you make payment, ask them to video chat with you. Right now. Right now. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're farting on a toilet. Video chat with me right now. I don't care if I hear you farting on a toilet. Video chat with me now. Right now. Before I make payment. Right now. I want to see if you or High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. I want to see it for myself. And if you can't do that, you fuck off. Just like that. Just like that. Have a backbone. Have a backbone. Stop being a spineless jellyfish. Stop getting scammed. Just like that. Just that blunt. Just that forward. Didn't I tell you what you tonight that this broadcast was going to be intense? I meant it. I meant it. Witchcraft requires a lot of energy, time, supplies, and for that to be taken away by, you know, <laughs> impersonator is very much a smack in the face to real practitioners. It's a smack in the face to the actual craft. It's a smack in the face to Hikate. You don't want to smack Hikate in the face. Because she will stomp you out with Timberland boots on. After she has lit a fire inside of your booty hole. Hikate is that high priestess that comes in with Timberland boots on to stomp you out. Crushing your windpipe. And I, I'm for that. I'm for violence. I'm for violence when it's justified. I am for violence when it is justified. Absolutely. Do it, Hikate. Do what you are best known for. Do it. Do it. Have a backbone. Don't be a spineless jellyfish. Stand up for yourself. Stop letting people take advantage of you, especially when it comes to money. 
stand up for yourself. You have to speak to people in a language that they can understand. You have to speak to people in a language that you that they understand. You have to. You can't talk to me in French. I won't know what you're talking about. Like, huh? What? I only speak English. So these witch impersonating accounts, they need to be taken down. And social media needs to make it easier for real witches, real high priestesses, real high priests to get verified. So this won't happen. Well, you know, it'll still happen, but it won't happen as much because we'll have that badge that shows that we are verified. And like I said, the best justice will come from the queen of witches, Hikata. So that's always, that, that just makes me so happy. It just makes me so happy that people get what they deserve. It makes me so happy. I love that. I live for that. Because you can't let people treat you or treat your good name any kind of way and then let them go on their merry way. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. This broadcast lasted longer than what I intended, but I needed to get this message out. This broadcast was meant to be maybe 30 minutes, but I went almost to an hour now, but so what? It's fine. This is all needed to come out. And like I said, I am going to pay to promote this broadcast. So if you see it on your news feed, you know I put money on it. I'm going to also post it on my other social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and um, I guess Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Okay? So, that's all I have to say about it. About it. Yeah, so this was the broadcast tonight, exposing fraudulent witch accounts. And I will definitely be leaving this up for the replay and promoting it. Yes, I'm going to put money on this um, broadcast if they allow me. If Instagram allows me to promote it. Because sometimes it doesn't let me promote it. <laughs> so thank you witches who came on here tonight. Do share this broadcast with anybody that may be thinking about giving money to a witch, high priest, high priestess like myself. For magical help, like I said, ask the person who is asking you if you want magical help for proof that they are me. Like I said, even if I'm in the shower, I will dry off and we will have a conversation face to face just like this. That's not a problem for me. Just give me 10 minutes and I'll be um, video chatting with you face to face so you know that it is me. And like I said, any new accounts that use my name just report and block and like i said i am trying to get verified on all my social media broad, um platforms so this will not happen as much because we can't expect it to happen but not as much if i were verified so yeah thanks for coming on tonight i only have like i only got like a couple like one minute left so thank you, witches, who came on tonight for joining me on this broadcast. Share this broadcast. Keep sharing it. Keep sharing it. Keep sharing it. Because this is live. You're seeing me. I'm high priestess, all of Phoenix. So thank you, witches, for joining me tonight. And I will speak to you, witches, soon. Thank you and good night, witches. And thanks for joining me tonight. Bye, everyone.